Let's get out and stay out. I'm keeping your tongue because you ain't paid to rent. Is this the face that wrecked a thousand ships and burned the towerless tops of Ilium? Farewell. Do I have to now, go? Dallas, don't you go making no fuss. Do I have to go, Doc, just because they say so? Now, Dallas, I've got my orders. Don't blame these ladies. It ain't they. It is them. Doc, haven't I any right to live? What have I done? We're the victims of a foul disease called social prejudice, my child. These dear ladies of the Law and Order League are scouring out the dregs of the town. Come on. They are proud, glorified dreg like me. You get going, Doc, you your drunk. <laughs> two of the kind. Just two of the kind. Take my arm, Madame la Comtesse. The tumbril awaits for the guillotine. Oh, wait, I get my bed, sir. I'll join you. If ever you go east, brother, come out to our house for dinner. No one in all Kansas City, Kansas, sets a better table than my dear wife, Viola. Jerry. Yeah, Doc. Jerry, I'll admit as one man to another that economically I haven't been of much value to you, but suppose you could put one on the credit? If talk was money, Doc, you'd be the best customer I got. I'll leave in town, Jerry. Honest? Yes, old friend, and I thought you might out of memory of our uh, many happy... All right, Doc. Just this one. Thank you, Jerry. Here's a man going on the stagecoach with you. He's an Easterner from Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, Kansas, brother. Your health, Reverend. <clears throat> I'm not a clergyman. My name is Peacock. I'm a... He's a whiskey drummer. What? Mr. Haycock, I Haycock. Don't tell me, sir. I know, I know. A familiar name and another name. I never forget a face or a friend. <laughs> Samples? Hmm. 